Okay, so when first looking at modifying your vehicle, it's really important to um, get a feel for where it is you want to go, or I guess look around and see what is the potential in your vehicle, because in some vehicles there's not a lot to be gained. Uh, usually there's 20, 30% on a standard vehicle to be gained by a quality tune. Um, uh, at sea level, I should say, because these vehicles are um, typically designed to run at elevated altitudes. So when you run around at sea level, there's quite a bit more air, if you like, available to, to burn some more fuel and provide you some more performance. Um, the, each, each vehicle is different, okay? So it might be the turbocharger that's the first stage of restriction. It might be the air filtration system to the turbo, which is which is causing like a you know vacuum, you know it's like a vacuum cleaner sucking through a straw type thing. So um, any restriction you can get rid of, will, you know, will, will improve your performance. Uh, it might be the snorkel, like our VDJ seventy nine, the factory snorkel is is good for you know around two twenty kilowatts at the wheels. Um, and then after you change that, then the next restriction is the air intake pipe, which would be about two fifty kilowatts at the wheels, about that mark. Uh, and then, um, and then once you get to about 300 kilowatts at the wheels on a VDJ70, then you can look at an airbox upgrade. Of course, a lot of people upgrade their airboxes on a standard turbo, making you know 160, 70, or 70 kilowatts at the wheels. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, if you really want to attack the things that make a difference, it is good to get an understanding on what those things are that are holding you back. Uh, other things are like clutches, for example, um, a standard clutch on a. Uh, if we look at the VDJ70 as an example again. Uh, a standard clutch will hold out to about 480 newton meters at the wheels, maybe 500 if it's really fresh. Um, and standard, they get delivered to you with around 375, 400 newton meters at the wheels, depending on uh, what the what year the vehicle is. So um, there is a bit of room to you know get a bit of extra, something extra. But if, unless you want to start spending money on other things, um, then um, um, you know you keep your tuning and so on. To, to suit what you have at the moment. Uh, a lot of uh, older vehicles, uh, for example, um, like 1HDT, 80 series and so on, the air boxes tend to choke up around 22 PSI. We sometimes run them up to around 25 um, and, and can get about in the, in the mid, I think mid hundreds at the wheels um, on those. Uh, and, uh, and the main thing, main holdback point, I guess, on like a 1HDT is actually the turbocharger. That's the, the first port of call. Uh, and, uh, and again, in that instance, um, they started off at 77 kilowatts at the tyres. Not a lot by today's standards. And then, you know, with a tune on a standard turbocharger, keeping your limit to around that 13, 14 PSI mark for safety, um, you might get around 100 kilowatts, maybe 105, something like that at the wheels. Uh, and then after that, you would put something like a, 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 a grunter, uh, you know, Vortex Green or, or something like that, and, and you might be able to um, push it up without an intercooler to sort of 125 around that mark, and, and, and then you change, add an intercooler and, and so on it goes. But we have um, a free service. Uh, you can call us up and tell us about what you have, uh, and we will uh, guide you through the most cost-effective way. We're not going to go and try and you know, sell you a thousand different things for your car that make, you know, hardly any difference. We'll, we'll tell you what things make a difference and why. Thanks so much guys for watching. Um, if anything that you've seen today has prompted questions from you or you feel that you, you would like more detail on some of the subject matter that we've covered, it's certainly a really big subject matter. Subscribe and send your, uh, put your comments below and, uh, and we'll attempt to answer them in the next one.